it was blown up. <laughs> Hi guys, Fraser from Lifco Hydraulics. We have another troubleshooting video on a P1 piston pump. This one off of a Caterpillar machine. This is the second unit that we've received from this customer, both the same machine. The first unit that came in, I looked like it had exploded inside. The port plate was grooved pretty good. Servo pistons all beat badly. And the shaft is now two piece. That's where the pistons, you can see where once all the heads been snapped off, the round part came in here and just tore it up. As you can see, a lot more pull off on the pistons. That's Lloyd's sense of humor. He's probably dying of laughter on the inside. He's referring to the pull off where the shoe starts to separate from the pistons. It's just crimped on. So over time or if too much force is on, it becomes loose. These ones missing entirely. The customer is saying ran for a day and now it gave out no pressure. So now we have to troubleshoot and see what the issue is. This one, they were a little nervous. They thought that this was the exact same problem again. So they immediately took it off before it could do too much damage. So let's take a look to see, did they face the same catastrophic failure or is it a different problem? That seems good. I don't see any massive damage on that. The last one had all the pistons were pulled off and everything was blown up. Pushings don't look trashed. A little bit of wear there, nothing horrible. No pull off on that one. Don't feel any pull off on any of the pistons. Yet. Nope, no pull off. Servo piston looks good. That feels good. So that spool is free. It's not jammed up. That one's free. But you know, you just want to make sure none of the springs are broken. I'm not saying this is what happened, but there could be a giant gouge between the two or a piece of something went through it. But we'll know as soon as we put it on the test bench. So you can see after, I think it was four minutes on the lapper. I don't see any more of that wear that was on there. When we check them for flatness, they will clean up fine. The three basics are pressure comp, load sense, and remote. So this is a load sense with a pressure comp. If the system needs 1,000 PSI, and this is set for 3,000 PSI, it'll do your 1,000 PSI at full pressure, no problem. Now, I don't know if the customer was messing around with it, but this is loose. Hmm, a loose comp screw, that screw tightens a spring and is required for the compensator to function properly. That should be set and then a lock nut should be put into place to stop it from moving. Uh, yeah, basically all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make sure that my preload pins are all the same, pull the barrel, take a look inside, make sure there's nothing inside the barrel that would cause it to stay stuck, which I can't see happening. Wash everything, put it back together and test it. A piece of contamination half the size of a grain of salt, sand or salt can cause the pump not to work. Yeah. So we wash everything, clean everything, make sure it's all clean, check it for flatness, bring it all back to spec and then reassemble. Well, they kept a very open mind. They didn't say, aha, there was the problem. It was this loose screw because what if there's something else going wrong? Complicated issues arise when there's multiple problems. So good troubleshooting is isolate one and then you keep an open mind for anything else. But that was it. It was that loose compensator screw. Looks like they didn't tighten it with a lock nut and the rattling of the mobile equipment would have rattled it loose. But they did the right thing by pulling the unit off and getting it inspected before there could be any serious failure that could damage other components. As part of our support of the Parker products, we waive the labor and the testing of this, and it also gives us good material for our videos.
Having their compensator backed all the way out and loose would cause no pressure, which is what their complaint was, and that's what it did on the bench. Okay, so before a grenade went off inside it, yeah, this one, it looks like it was fiddled with maybe, and they couldn't get it back into it. Yeah, it almost looks like it was set at a thousand. They put it in somewhere, had it running fine. They probably, when they adjusted the compensator, didn't lock the set screw in, drove that unit somewhere to get it someplace to use it, and the compensator backed off with the vibration of travel. Yeah. And what was it the P max or the delta P that was loose? It was the pressure max, not the differential. Differential was not touched, just the pressure max was. Okay, so what is he seeing here? What happens is, is when we get a lot of the newer engineers that get involved once all the problems are solved. I said, I don't learn anything. It's one of those things where if everybody knew what they were doing, we wouldn't have a job. So, always better to err on the side of caution if you don't know and you don't want to f with it, send it in. So no, it was not the same issue as the first unit. This one really wasn't really much of an issue. They had a, an adjustment that came loose and it just needed to be tightened again. It could have been done on the machine. No harm, no foul. You took the unit off, you sent it to us, and we didn't charge you for the labor or the testing and we made a great video of it. So thank you for doing the right thing. We just got these buy hydraulic shirts in. Thank you so much for watching the whole video. Send us an email, sales at leftcohydraulics.com with your address and size, and we're gonna give a few out. The pumps and motors that you see on these videos, they're your pumps and motors. Send them in. We'll make a troubleshooting video and we don't charge for labor if we're making a video on it.